Hey guys, Mitch Fitzpatrick here with AB. I just wanted to go over the new density altitude features in Quantum. Uh, we got a lot of feedback from guys wanting to um, you know, see the DA output as well as be able to input a DA. Uh, and we worked out some solutions on uh, how to make that happen for you guys. So first of all, you'll notice here on the environment control panel, um, you know, to the right of where it says environment, there where you'd click to change your control panel. Um, that's where it outputs your uh, current DA value, and that's based off your temperature, humidity, pressure, obviously. Um, so if you, you know, you have a device to measure those three things, or if you're pulling in from, you know, your local weather station by, you know, clicking the, the buttons underneath them, uh, that's going to be what your current DA is. So obviously with that, you can, uh, you know, use that to uh, record your DA um, for, you know, building out your DA range cards and all that fun stuff. Now, if you want to input a DA specifically, there's a little calculator button here under pressure. And the reason why we've done it that way is in order to get an accurate fire solution, you for sure still need an accurate temperature reading in, ad in addition to your density altitude. And so, therefore, if you've got your temperature and humidity, which, I mean, if you know it, that's fine. Otherwise, you could just always set it at like 50% for most situations, um, unless you're shooting really long distances. And uh, then you can, you know, type in your DA value and it will calculate the corresponding pressure at your location to match your temperature and humidity um, at that given DA. So then you can hit apply. And now, as you can see, your environmentals are at a DA of 1000 feet and you can uh, run your solutions that way. So uh, we hope this, uh, you know, makes everybody happy with uh the, the DA features and uh, thanks for your feedback.